From 88 Films uh, is Ricky O, or the story of Ricky. Um, this is a Category 3 movie, which, to be honest, is one that I'd seen before. I sought this out a long while ago. I think I seen something in TV point towards one of the wackiest movies ever, and I searched it out and finally found a copy. And I got the previous UK release, which, to be honest, this is far better uh, than that one. <laughs> And the story of Ricky is really simple and really fun. A, a, a hard individual Ricky is sent to a futuristic penitentiary where super violence seems to be just pertinent throughout uh, the prison. The prison is ruled by four prisoners called the Gang of Four and then there is the assistant governor and the governor. It's the kind of hierarchy uh, within this uh, system that he has to rally against and ultimately win out the day. Uh, Ricky is a man who's there and is all about justice, is all about fair play and doesn't like the billy boy tactics that are going on and he is willing to fight back against the system ultimately tearing it down because he's a good guy and that's what good guys do. Uh, Ricky O is synonymous uh, because of the gore and the violence within it. It's bonker storyline, it's a wonderful choice of camera placement, uh, how it depicts the violence in action, the way it stages it all is wonderfully astute and just wonderful to sit back and enjoy. Let the movie wash over you. It is a popcorn flick with some of the best action set pieces uh, and gore that I've ever seen. It is truly eye-popping. I love Ricky O for the ludicrous that it goes towards its goals. We have this weird world where there is people with super strength. There are people who have insane kung fu abilities. There are people who can take such torture like a blade to the face and still be alive and kicking for a little while after that. You disrespect me? That's against the rules. You see such gobsmacking images as jaws being punched through, as eyes being slapped out of heads, as stomachs being tore apart by a single punch. It is bloody, gory, ultra-violent and full of wonderful practical effects that are jaw-droppingly awesome. I think the movie is particularly uh, fun as well, just as a serious story point, not just because uh, of the effects and the gore, but the story is really good. We have a silent-ish hero who is just struggling to make the best of a bad world that he is in and is constantly encountering horrible people whom he's taking it upon himself to stop doing the terrible things that they are doing. It's a simple character to get behind, to want to survive the atrocities that are being pushed upon him by all the other horrible characters within the movie. Even to see anybody that has a glimmer of goodness about them being tore asunder just adds to the fact that these are horrible people. Great bad guys make a great hero and again we have some wonderful bad guys here. The Gang of Four are particularly great. The Assistant Warden eh, or Governor um, is terrific. Uh, this claw hooked uh, man with a false eye who stores his mints in his eye for some reason. Would you care for some mints? Uh, and then the ultimate governor with his large uh, child. Uh, everything is just super exaggerated in this world. It's overblown, it's strange and unusual and it's one of those movies you just need to go with the flow. You'll understand pretty soon into the movie 
the craziness that's going on here and you just need to go with it. It's a fun, enjoyable ride. I think Riccio is a terrific movie. I think this package from 88 Films is particularly great as well and the movie has never looked better. So there we have it. Ricky, the story of Ricky O is highly recommended. I think it is an incredibly fun movie. It's an easy one to watch and it has great rewatchability and the extras are fantastic. I'd love to know your thoughts on this release. Uh, if this is the first time you've seen it, have you seen it before? What do you think of the movie? What do you like? What do you not like? Let me know because we're having a conversation. I want to talk to you about these movies so drop me a comment in the comment box below. As always, there's more content up here that you can see more of my videos and if you feel I deserve it, hit this video with a like. Uh, you can also subscribe, maybe even share it, which would be wonderful. And if you want to go that little extra mile, you can join the Patreon or the membership program for as little as 99 pence a month. So little, but it helps me so much. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Man B Film.